Just a day after the city of Calgary pledged to include gender-neutral washrooms in all city buildings, a transgender woman is weighing in on exactly why they're needed. River Rising was prevented from using the women's bathroom in a Medicine Hat bar recently and was even grilled about her transition by an employee. The business is now offering a solution, but what Rising feels she is owed is an apology. Kayla Carr reports. Just like shocked that that kind of behavior still exists in the world. 21-year-old Calgarian River Rising is hoping for an apology after employees at a Medicine Hat bar told her she couldn't use the woman's washroom. River began transitioning two years ago. Well, I've known I was female my whole life, but I decided that I was going to start the process of transitioning about two years ago. She's never experienced any backlash until a couple weeks ago during a trip to Medicine Hat. She was at the Corona Tavern when she was approached by an employee who began asking her about her transition. Had I had surgery yet? How long had I been on hormones? Things that really were just none of his business. So um, he told me not to use the women's washroom anymore. River says she didn't use the washroom for the rest of the night. A few days later, she was made aware of a photo circulating on social media. The sign posted outside the washrooms at the Corona read, you must use the bathroom of your birth gender. Under Bill 7, discriminating against gender identity and expression is illegal. And River feels this is discrimination. It's fine, be ignorant, but you have to obey the law still, just like the rest of us. The backlash is rampant. Dozens of people have posted comments on the business's Facebook page, saying they're disgusted and appalled this is happening in their community. We reached out to the owners of Corona. They refused to comment on camera, but released a statement saying, since the passing of Bill 7, we have had numerous complaints about men going into the women's washroom. This has caused some young female patrons to feel unsafe. We have no bias against those who are LGTBQ. We are saddened by the situation. Management says they have recently changed one bathroom to gender neutral to address the problem, but say they're open to more ideas. River says she hopes the owners apologize and use this as a learning experience. She says she's even open to working with them on understanding the LGBTQ community. Yes, I just hope that if uh, anything can happen from this, it's that someone else doesn't have to go through this same circumstance. Kayla Carr, CTV News, Medicine Hat.